How's it going everyone? It's Sam. We have just a few hours to get in on some of these cryptos and I'll explain why that is towards the end of the video, but there are six cryptos I really want to talk about plus Bitcoin. Bitcoin is just the mammoth in the room that defines what everything else does really. And we've seen some insane buying which is probably going to continue. I'll talk about that, uh, talk about what the ETFs are doing just for a minute, and then we'll get into some of these juicy, juicy altcoins. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you can see future videos just like this one as soon as I make them. There's also gonna be a link underneath the video to Marjax where you can trade cryptocurrencies on leverage. Again, this is just the time if you want to go long on cryptocurrencies, to go long on cryptocurrencies. Like Whenever we see a dip like this, if you can see some kind of bottom and we start moving up might not be the worst idea if you're comfortable with it and you're uh and you're able to do it to go like low leverage long or maybe even a higher leverage long uh, because yeah we do typically move up in bull markets and we've seen relentless buying so there is a link to marjex underneath the video that gives you a bit of a deposit bonus there's also a link down there to coin w as well that can allow you to start trading cryptocurrencies whether it's spot or futures so definitely check that out now as you can see, there's just this relentless buying of Bitcoin. I mean, just pretty much straight up. We have some consolidation straight up. We have some consolidation straight up. Uh, and we're right under this previous high. Now, we've hit 70K multiple times and been rejected. We hit uh, right around here. We went above it yesterday and then got rejected down by $4,000. And now we're like right back under it. Now, this isn't going to last forever. And as soon as we break out above, a lot of altcoins are probably gonna pump. I mean, we're already seeing that with like Ethereum up 15% this week, Solana up 13, BNB up 20. I mean, who even uses BNB anymore? I guess we all use it every once in a while for transactions, but these are just pumping like mad over the last week and we don't even have to get into the meme coins. Like what the heck, Shiba Inu up 65%. So there are cryptos that are gonna run after we break the 70K mark. Two things you have to be careful of real quick. Um, first of all, exchanges that are freezing deposit, uh, freezing withdrawals. Apparently, all withdrawals of crypto are disabled on Gemini. This is why we keep our long-term bag in cold storage and why we have multiple exchanges set up like Marjax, CoinW, Blowfin, all of those linked underneath the video. Spend 10 minutes and go set up multiple exchanges and then you can move your crypto around so that you don't have this kind of issue. We also had news that Coinbase was going offline. This is the third time in a week. So yeah, just be careful. Exchanges uh, are kind of necessary evils at this point, but you don't have to keep all your crypto on the exchange. The other thing we have to be careful of, uh, I, I love Rand, I love crypto banter, but they're joking around about how this is like the most fun time in crypto, how they're just trading meme coins and how it's absolutely absurd. And some people are like, oh, ah, yeah, that's funny. I love it. We're having the best time ever. But keep in mind that it's not fun to trade these types of things when the market drops 80% and then another 50% and then another 50%. So yes, some of these altcoins here today might be around for the long term. Some are just ways to get more Bitcoin or ways to get more fiat in the end. And that's how I'm kind of approaching a lot of altcoins right now. Now, some have great technology. Some have strong eco ecosystems. Some have strong flywheel effects. Some are doing things that we've never seen before. But again, you have to stay focused. Don't get drunk on the bull market because this isn't going to be here forever, right? So take profits when you have significant gains, a little bit. Now, Bitcoin continues to see relentless buying. This is from the Bitcoin ETFs. We got 270, uh, 223 million of inflows yesterday, which a little bit of a down day, but not terrible, honestly. Uh, we had a bit of a couple, uh, we had a, a couple ETFs that were a bit disappointing, but over the week, we had $2.3 billion net bought. The crazy thing is, BlackRock is now to 198,000 Bitcoin. This is more than MicroStrategy. They did this in two months. MicroStrategy did it in 40 plus months. Now, just think about that annualized out 200,000 every two months. So 100,000 a month. I don't think they're going to hit a million Bitcoin, but because I think the price would skyrocket. And when the price skyrockets, their flows 
are going to be similar, but they're going to be buying less Bitcoin if it's two or three times the price. But it's not it's not insane to think that's a possibility, a non-zero chance. That could happen. And what happens to the price of Bitcoin when someone comes in and buys a million Bitcoin from illiquid sellers? Well, I guess they would be liquid at that point, but people that don't want to sell because we've gotten a lot of people to sell up until this point. And most people do have a price. Most people do have a price that they'll sell Bitcoin. But when people see this and they start getting greedy, they're not going to want to sell. They're going to want to hold which is going to cause the price to skyrocket when these companies continue to allocate more and more to Bitcoin. And that is going to happen. We haven't even started to see rate cuts yet either. Like That's a crazy thing. The stock market's been so-so. And yet, Bitcoin continues to get inflows, continues to spike up. Now, when Bitcoin spikes up, other cryptos will spike up as well. For example, Solana. Solana's been a monster, obviously, 15x up since the bear market. Over 794 wallets have interacted with Solana in the last 24 hours. This is close to the highest we've ever seen, the highest consistent that we've seen. Uh, you can also see Solana TVL breaks $3 billion. We also have news that Solana is flipping Ethereum in 24-hour DEX volume. And they have some of the best meme coins or some of the most successful meme coins. I mean, let's scroll down here. Uh, we have some of... the the craziest uh, cryptos in the world, Bonk, um, Dog with Hat, uh, we have obviously Shiba and Dogecoin, like the, the meme coins have done absolutely insane the last week, last couple weeks, last couple months. A lot of meme coins are based on Solana. Uh, I've talked about one just a tip before, uh, like there's smaller meme coins that people like to play with, there are bigger meme coins. And then there's just a bunch of DeFi. There's a lot that you can do with Solana that you can't do with other chains. And as as everything gets more congested, as the price of everything moves up and there are more drops and more listings, Ethereum is going to get really expensive. A lot of people are going to want to work with Solana. I mean, even if you're a project, right, and you're going to launch, uh, it's hard to want to feel good about launching on Ethereum when you know that any transaction is going to cost a significant amount compared to a penny on Solana. Now, Solana is one sixth the price of Ethereum, or one, sorry, one seventh or one eighth the price of Ethereum now. I did a video talking the other day about getting to 30 Solana. I'll put that on the end screen, but you can watch that if you're interested. I do think getting some position in Solana makes sense, especially because, uh, when people get into crypto, they're going to get into Bitcoin, then they're going to look at alts. Uh, they're going to hear about everything that Solana is doing, how it's smaller than Ethereum. The price itself, I know how stupid this sounds, but the price itself of one token is much less than Ethereum. So newbies are going to look at this and think, oh, it's so much cheaper. I can buy two whole Solana or something. And then they're going to ape into Solana instead of Ethereum, instead of buying 0.2 Ethereum or 0.1 Ethereum. <clears throat> so Solana, I, I do think, is going to be a massive winner this next bull market. And it's not quite to price discovery. It's off 50%, but it's a lot closer than other altcoins. People are going to pump it once it hits price discovery. And there might be some friction around price discovery and maybe some rejection, but I would not be surprised to see it explode this bull market. Another crypto that's just been exploding is Syncus. I've talked about this so many times on the channel uh, a couple days ago, I talked about it several times around 25 cents or 0 0.025. And then I made a video right around here, a full video. And then it pumped a hundred percent. Since then it's up another 40%. I started talking about it back, uh, over a month ago, like right before this time frame. So since here it's 35 X, 35 X. Now, what is this? It's a DeFi protocol or it's a DeFi crypto that allows you to borrow, stake, lend uh, cryptocurrencies. I'll leave a link to this underneath the video uh, to this website because you can go buy on Uniswap and then you can stake through here. You can stake and get a high APY. Now, this is on the higher risk spectrum. Like they are, they've said in the past that they were a Ponzi. They said that they're basically... <clears throat> They have a fee, they have a fee when you sell, and they use that to go into their treasury to go buy back tokens. They have a lot of staking, they have apparently some big name investors and marketers that are coming on board. And to be clear, I'm not getting paid to talk about this, but it is something that I hold. And if it goes up, 
I'm going to make more money. I'm going to take profits at some point, but I haven't taken profits. Uh, like since, since this bottom, I have not taken profits. We've just been up only. Now, I do stake my tokens, some of my tokens on the app. You can do this. You can get some APY. Of course, make sure that you're comfortable with this. Make sure that you understand what this is. But this has been super explosive. And they've told me before, like back at $10 million market cap, they said that the team said they think they can get this to a billion dollars. They want to be uh, they want to be a billion dollar cryptocurrency. And it's not like, oh yeah, we want to be. They, they've gone up 30x since then. And they're comparing themselves to some cryptos in the last bull market that did that. And they think they can do it better. So I'm still holding this. I'm a big believer in this. But as always, like be careful. Make sure you understand what you're buying. And yeah, if you can't figure out how to buy in Uniswap, uh, these cryptos probably aren't for you. Some of these are too high risk. Alvara and the ERC-7621 is seeing real adoption for asset managers. Uh, and this is a piece of news that they just po posted. I talked about Alvara maybe a week ago. It was a crypto that launched on Tencent. <clears throat> right now, uh, they just announced this. The Alpha Transformation Artificial Intelligence Index is powered by the Alvara protocol. So they had like a, a hedge fund or a fund that started up in uh, an index with them started up a portfolio so this is what they do they allow people to make baskets of cryptocurrencies and you can invest with them they have like a reward system but they have to hold the underlying alvara token now this has grown pretty quickly they had their launch they went up to six dollars and then fell back down this is something that always happens during launches they fell back down to like a dollar a dollar 17 and since then they've just been up like they're up a hundred percent I'm still holding all my tokens. I did talk about how I was going to be an investor in this. Now, their fully diluted valuation is quite high, $520 million. But what they have circulating right now is quite small. So like short term, these things can pump like mad because it's, yeah, it's a $6 million market cap, $7 million market cap. And they are going to launch their uh, Alvara platform live for everyone on April 4th. So one month away. Now, another cryptocurrency that I was lucky to talk about early on is Vanner. And I talked about this a while ago, back in the winter time. And basically, they just went from uh, TVK, their old token, to Vanry. Uh, and the price pumped. <laughs> Binance did a swap for them. And now they've done a bunch of other things too. They partnered with uh, Mobula and Phantom who are about to integrate their chain into their own product. Uh, they have their second native DAP. Uh, it was just announced. AeroSwap DEX, first DEX on the Vanner chain. Uh, they attended the Leap, or they attended Leap, the biggest tech event in the Middle East. And since, since they did all this stuff, like the price is just up and to the right. Now, I don't hold this token. I'm not getting paid to talk about this token either. But it is something that I'm watching. Like I, I wish I had bought this when I initially started like covering it, paying attention to it. But obviously, there are going to be some cryptos that you just miss. Like you miss the initial pump, but it's okay. There's still more pump in a lot of these cryptos because Bitcoin's one third the price that's going to be in the future. So this is one that you have to put on your radar. And again, we'll get to why you only have like so much time in a second. Uh, you can go follow these cryptos, by the way, like this is a key thing, like go follow these cryptos. They give updates like this, like Van Vanner, uh, give this week 15 up update and you can scroll through this, learn a lot more about the protocols. Cdefi is also doing exceedingly well. This is one that I started to pay attention to around a dollar, a dollar and 10 cents, like right on this initial pump is when I started buying it. And it's up 4x since then. Now, why is that? Well, people are starting to get a little bit greedy. People want to get in on launches. People want to get in on gaming. So I bought, I bought, I bought, I bought, I bought, I bought. And then it went up, it came down. I think I even bought maybe a little bit more in here. And then it's pumped since then. So I'm paying attention to launch pads like this, Cdefi, uh, Tencent, even Ape Terminal. Like these are cryptos that I want to be investing in for the next bull run. Even if they have some drama and stuff, like these are where money is going to go this this is uh where you can access early cryptos 
So when someone wants to buy, I don't know, XYZ new game that comes out, they have to buy these tokens a lot of the time, these underlying uh, tokens for the launch pad, and then they have to stake them and then they can get in on the launches. So it causes, causes buying pressure for these tokens. So Cdefy is one that I've been watching and owning for a long time. And then uh, Inspect, man, Inspect is one of my best performing cryptos. And sorry if my uh, face is slowing down a little bit, but Inspect is one of my best performing cryptos. They just announced that they are doing a huge launch on BitTensor. Uh, Inspect makes its first move into decentralized AI and proudly announces its successful testnet launch on BitTensor. We are thrilled to collaborate with BitTensor uh, neural network to foster the development of a decentralized machine learning network. Now, what is BitTensor? What's one of the biggest AI cryptos out there? Uh, right now, it's a $4.5 billion market cap, and it's just been up only. The AIs in general have done so well. So a collaboration like this, I, I haven't even really looked into what they're doing completely with BitTensor, but a collaboration with it like this with one of the hottest sectors with one of the hottest tokens in that sector is massive. So look for things like this. I mean, BitTensor's up 15x. Uh, the token itself, the underlying uh, token of Inspect is up 20x since it launched as well. So like these are getting momentum. Inspect is a layer two for Twitter, but it does more than that. Uh, these are the cryptos you want to pay attention to. Like these, all these cryptos I've talked about today, they're definitely further down on the risk spectrum. You know, I talk about Bitcoin for the most part, but I do like to dabble in altcoins. Uh, I do hold mostly Bitcoin, but the fact is like some of these altcoin positions are growing to be large part of my portfolios, uh, large parts of my portfolio because they've grown so quickly. Like when you have a 10X, a 15X, a 30X, it grows to be outsized in your portfolio and then you can take some profits uh, and then reallocate how you want. But that's the nice thing about having some lower cap altcoins in a bull market. Like most people that have bought any kind of low cap alts have made insane amounts of money so far. So I don't think it's too late to buy altcoins, to be clear. This is the bull market, so we're going to see better returns than what we're seeing even right now. But the reason I say you have three hours, it's a little bit arbitrary, but usually I, I always give a reason for it. I'm not just throwing a number out just to put in the title. The reason I say three hours is this video, what is it, 20 minutes? Okay, maybe it takes you 20 minutes to figure out how to buy one of these tokens. Uh, it takes another 20 minutes to actually get the crypto over to buy it on whatever wallet or whatever exchange. Uh, you should be doing some research on this. Like just because I talked about crypto, don't just buy it right away. Spend a couple hours, two hours learning about the crypto. Like watch videos, read through their Twitter, read through their white paper, go to their website, figure out how it works, figure out what people do like about it, figure out what people hate about it, figure out what people are saying about how whatever crypto is a scam that you're looking up, read their arguments, read the bullish stances too. That might take you a few hours. Now, of course, if you're going to put in more of your portfolio, you should spend more time. Like how many hours have I looked at Bitcoin to feel comfortable with the portfolio size I have right now? Thousands and thousands of hours. But if it takes you 20 minutes to watch this video, another 40 minutes to figure out how to buy the token and uh, get that crypto over there, and then two hours to research it, you're in a really good position. You're going to learn more about the crypto than most people know that already own the token, right? Especially if you're looking at altcoins. So do that. It will take you three hours, but we don't have a ton of time. Like it seemed like we have forever in the bear market. We had forever to buy cryptocurrencies. But as you can tell, like we can see huge moves. Bitcoin's up 43% in the last 30 days. There are meme coins that are up 70% in the last seven days. Like we don't have a ton of time. So you want to put in the research now because you could miss out. Huge. Like even just from a couple of days ago when I made my sync video, sync is up 40. No, it, since I made my full video on sync, it's up 130%. And you miss out on exponential gains when you miss out on that first bit of gains. Say you miss out on that 100%, right? And then it does another 10x. You buy it right now, it does another 10x. Well, I made 20x and you made 10x. 
just from a hundred percent difference in when we bought. I know it's pretty simple math, right? You probably already realized that, but that's the key to being early. Like you can get those exponential returns. So instead of 10x, you get 100x, you get a 50x, which obviously makes a huge difference. And it makes it a little bit easier when you start taking profits because you can still hold on to a lot of your bag. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, sorry if the computer's a little bit laggy. I do plan on getting a new one, but I can't get it next week. I have to get it a little bit later than I was hoping for. So we'll we'll get past the lag. I think I have too many tabs, too many charts opened up. Uh, there's too much bullish momentum. The computer can't handle it. I can't handle it. I'm barely sleeping. I'm joking a little bit. I'm taking care of myself. Don't worry. Uh, but obviously, this is an exciting time. Make sure that you do your research. Make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure that you're taking good precautions. You have multiple exchanges set up. Make sure that you have the tools that you need to get in and out of the market like Everything needs to be right there, ready to go because you you can't waste time. You have to be ready. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Check out the links underneath the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.